Okay, so today we are back with our marathon of the Dark Pictures anthology. So the second game is Little Help. I think this is more of a Blair Witchy type one. We shall see though. Oh. Uh, Nick. So I had a little problem with seeing things last time, so I'm gonna go a little bit brighter. And we're still playing alone. Oh shoot. Uh, I didn't put the uh, subtitles on, but hopefully it's not as needed. Settings for the visually impaired. Yeah, I don't know why it turns it off. Okay, now let's start. So we're going to do the new story. We'll start in the diner. And again, I'll just stay unforgiving. been a fan of driving at night. Too many ways to cause accidents. Speaking of which... Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. 
I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Never heckle the driver. Driver always ignore your passengers. Folks on the road. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Oops. Okay, so the kid might be being uh, abused at the church. She's got abandonment issues because she's an adopted. Oh wow, this is like... Not tonight. No way. And then there's possible unemployment poverty issues. Yeah, yeah. Their family's stressed. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Four adopted kids? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. 
Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. So all the kids have their own problems? Eldest daughter's got a new age hippie boyfriend? <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Youngest one's got priest issues. Oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart! I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. So you're supposed to think uh, the little girl's possessed or something? Is she the red herring? What if she wants the key Maybe you for? should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I'd just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. around first. Yeah, that's the same book. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Is it meaningful to the series, or is it just reusing assets? Son of a bitch clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I be leaving that on? I guess it'll start whistling. She's only had a problem at the end. Oh. Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. She got a little bit worse every time.
Well, some kids aren't motivated. Especially when they feel they don't have any point. Uh, is there a door here that I can get into? No, I guess not. Uh, okay. So was the staircase in the center of the house? I'm confused now where I'm supposed to be going. Did I walk past the staircase and didn't notice it? Anthony! Where the hell are you? Coming! Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. You could be right about my family. Oops. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh, so she locked the nicer two siblings out? Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
Chopper's brother. Oh god! Well that, um... He looked guilty because he was holding the matches that was for the tea. Hold it. Hold it. Won't you spare me over till another year? a new story for you. It's very different to the last. I saw Freemason in a... Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened, or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. Technically, there is a finite As circle. As in life, your decisions will matter. Can travel. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. 
It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. To sent in the ranks. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. I'm sure you all have your own thoughts, But though. we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. For eternity. In God's loving embrace. Oh, he survived. <clears throat> okay. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> thing useless piece of crap may as well be dead okay take it easy we'll figure out what to do Ugh.
Joshua. Angela hey. looks like mom. Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Oh, Daniel? Hold on. These look like the sibling. This this looks like the family. Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Okay, so the nope. ferryman. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. Were they being boated by Karam or something? I see a trail down here I could try. Great. And they're stuck in Hades. Take the trail. Should take you to Didn't the road. get there. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> so they're the souls of the family? Hey, Taylor. Heard it? Help me get Is Andrew up on his on feet, here? will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. H who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us, it was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Okay, so what's real? Was the fire Heck real or is the bus crash real? taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy, that outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money, that's what she wants to hear about. Hey, what's happening here? Not much, I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. See ya. Uh-oh, little girl's there too. And hope. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Got you there. You gotta go back to basics when you don't have your resources. What do we got here? Good to see you two. 
finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Nope. Think this'll do it? That was fast. Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. <laughs> and there were five. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. We lose her already? What? Oh, no. I walked away from you! The fun uh -huh. brought her back. So you thought better of going it alone, then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait, what are you doing? Taylor, look out. What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. OK, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? OK, OK, I'm coming. All right, I'm stuck in town. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. 
someone else thinks they can do a better job, step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Let's see. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Cat. Can I go for the cat? Or the cat just to distract them? I don't like the look of that place at all. I don't see the cat anymore. Did you all see that? What was that? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. <coughs> go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? I don't know what we are yet. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. 
Let's see if we can fix them. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. I don't know where double 20 is. Oh. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. I don't play darts. Now for triple 20. Okay, triple's the inner rim. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Sequences. This place has some great history. Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. People went All broke? the factories closed down. Mm. Yeah, when your businesses strip all the cash, and then their employees are so dependent on them. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Oh, wow. Those are the same faces of... How long have you been stuck here? Hey! This way. Let's get out of here and... I didn't talk to the guy. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. I didn't check behind the bar either. Was there stuff there? Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean?
I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Said every we'll movie ever. Out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the same. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. The zealot tree? Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. Oh. What the hell? What? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Hey, wait for us! What is that? There is something very weird about this fog. Stay close. We're going this way then. We're being herded by fog. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. It's a doll. Voodoo doll. Kind of scary looking thing. Oh, there's a kid. <laughs> what is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. 
come play with what me? What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. Okay. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog spoke to us maybe the fog has got you confused we're all stressed out stressed my ass i saw a girl dancing right here clear as day said her name was mary looked exactly like the girl in my dream but she talked in this really weird accent was that even american i'm not sure i couldn't place her accent either what have we gotten Scottish. ourselves into this kid mary did she want to hurt you No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? Seems bitter about that. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew, somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you, you help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. What I need? We have a quest. I thought I wasn't supposed to help. He's giving instructions. little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Oh, I'm tempted on. to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Technically, 
most of the early settlers were French Jews. Um, let's see, they were Irish. There were Scots, I guess. I'm not sure what the American colonies were since I'm Canadian, but I'm pretty sure it was more Irish and French Jews. French Jews got in a lot of trouble having slave plantations and losing wars. So they weren't as respected as some of the other settlers. actually did not jump for that one. Might get a better view from up there. Most of the settlers in the day came to the colonies pretending to be someone else. The Jews came pretending to be Roman Catholics and uh, Dutch and then ended up being French and Spanish. We lost a whole bunch of Dutch. They were supposed to help in the Thirty Years' War fight a uh, fight against the Spanish, and basically they all just mutineered off the coast and ran away with <laughs> their uniforms and the pay, leaving all the rest of the soldiers. How are you coping? Getting progressively worse know. and worse in mutineries. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. it. Makes zero sense to me. It's a domino effect. What is out there? The first guy causes the whole problem. So who was the first guy? What was their first life, I wonder? You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. I appreciate you checking in with me. So there's a photo of the war, there was the burning house, there's this college trip, and then there's the Salem Witch Trial Blair Witch looking stuff. So what, that's at least four? Four lives they've been through? Four cycles maybe? Oh, we already saw, we already saw that. Coming, coming. Wait for me. Street light. Edmonton? Are we in Canada? Could this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Hey, history's fun. It teaches you about your past, what people cared about, what they were worried about, their hopes and fears, the conditions they were dealing with. They seem to repeat themselves over and over through history. Maybe this is a uh, social commentary on that. Oh, you watched again? 
So they were out in this direction, but I don't see anything. I just see trees. another outcropping. I guess I'm supposed to stay on the road. Every time we step off the road we see weird, sh weird shit. There's the bridge we cross. There's something up ahead! Which way? Um, can we move it? Bridge or Amen to that. side path. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! Uh, I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> Girl. What the hell do we do now? Check out the little girl or go down the other path. Are we supposed to be afraid of the I'll girl? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. I mean, she's already done two things to make us afraid of her. Hold up. I'll come with you. You want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, that's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. Will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Well, if they were in Canada, there's more likely to be Scottish settlers. Let's get into town. It's not so far now. And it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. So Americans don't recognize Scottish accents. You're really? blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. But the fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. The boys look native. She looks French. And I'm with John. I couldn't tell what the little girl was because we didn't see her long enough. Maybe also native. Uh I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? 
Think about what our next move is. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. The lovers and the parents and the son. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Back to being Andrew. Hold up. You hear that? Uh oh. Where the hell did he go? Biker. Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Uh oh, we just left the Let's road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Another one of these idols? Are they protective or distracting? Are they, um... Uh... Warning signs. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best, that's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's... Getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. The parents look Celtic, the two boys look native, the tailor looks French, and I don't know if it's a little girl. Oh, fuck. Wait! Well, he's a scaredy cat. He's so jumpy. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Great job. Glad you made it over.
That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Okay, there's a chair on the other side I already saw, but let's go this way first. Use the chair, really? All right. It's off the chair first. Stone. Let's just uh, check this corner out first. All right, we're going with the stone. Give me that. I'll smash the window. Oh, no problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe Most enough. glass doesn't break away that easily. Unless uh, it's really old glass, I guess. Piece of cake. You're up next. You don't want to be climbing through broken windows. That's how you get yourself cut. No, oh, just a plant, not a glitter. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. So we got Salem Witch Trials, World War, House Fire, and then Modern Times. What's that noise? No surprise that didn't sell. Yeah, it's hard to sell land in an area where there are no jobs. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. 
No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Well, we got two things to look at. We've got left side, right side. Playground. Panels on this side. Okay, so there's a pond, pond meadow. The bridge is there. Lists out who owns each of the little plantations or land allotments, I guess. We've got Bouchard, Lorjoy, Abbott, Ballard, Bloor. Sounds like they're all French owned. Ballard, Abbott, Bixby, Chandler. So up on the south side in the middle of town looks French. Northern side looks more uh, British up near the iron mill. Putting the white folks at the work camps there. Alright, we got she wants to go in here. What have we here? That's the playground. Behind her, where the playground go? Okay, right, whatever. Hang on. What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. talking about get away or he will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you're in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret uh -huh. Those childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! Whoa, what? What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Oh, I'm not supposed to interfere. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. I no way that's look a coincidence. more guilty if I try to help her. I, I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you.
Yeah, some of the punishments. That, those photos are kind of... Which trials are sketchy? I'm glad you're here. Or, uh... Both of us are getting out of here. It's like, You'll oh, see. we'll try and drown you, but if you survive, you must have been a witch. So basically, you were dead no matter what you did. So you can tell the people running it were just looking for excuses to kill folks. Okay, um, supposed to walk further into the darkness, or... I'm confused. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help? Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. <sighs> that campaign didn't work out too well. The problem with the closures is it's, they're usually closed because someone mismanaged the business. So the question is, they couldn't keep it running because someone was inside the business sabotaging it. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Finish looking at whatever we've got here. Oh, I have two choices. Uh, I think the dumpster would probably be. Oh, so what else we got? Over here. Look at this. Oh, unions are sketchy. Like, who would have been better? The... Okay, so we've got a sketchy broken window. Or a sketchy... Okay, so we're going with the window. Let me see if I can get this open. <sighs> I don't like those nails. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Okay.
Hello? Who's there? Cat again? How'd you get here, anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax, they look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Let's get around so fast. Troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. You are privy to the rumours about sir, my wife. Please, do not open that door. Do not let them take me, I beg you, husband. I am here to arrest your wife, Joseph. I have the legal warrant here. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. Well, look-alike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. They're being herded again. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. 
Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. Coffee! Sorry until I haven't had coffee in a there's while. There's gotta be a phone <laughs> in here someplace. I'd be deluded if you think there's there. anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Alright, what do we got? We got a sign? Real nice. They're bragging that they killed people in uh, witch trials. Great. Good for them. There's got to be something. Let's go this way. Hippie trunk? You see? Taylor was a hippie. There's a phone. Probably don't want to touch that until I'm ready to move on. Anything else? No? Don't want me to get past that chair? Yeah, I see the phone. I just want to check the rest of the office out first. There's the front door. Okay, so my choice is touch the phone or go through the door. Any other clues? Reynolds. Little Hope Police Department. There's another door. This one's locked. Spooky jail cells. We lost everything. Or I've lost everything. Alright. What did you lose? What is everything? Okay, so I guess we check the phone out. Anything else in this direction? Oh, I already checked this. This is the evidence room. Alright, let's get that phone. They're trying to find help. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Oh, that makes him upset. Keep going. Shit! Oh. Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. He has anger management issues. I saw that 
Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. Now is it going to go to the store? Is that? The phone rang. It was unplugged. That made me jump. I was not expecting that. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offence, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I have to choose one or the other. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. 
The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No demon, if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. That is so stupid. If the girl what acts, is needed she's the guilty. Walks among us in little hole. <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. It's the priest and the little girl doing whatever, obviously. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happened to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. 
What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. This fog is getting worse. Okay. Daniel, you need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the? How is that even possible? Back to the bridge? Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. See for shit. Jesus. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Probably not a good idea to walk on half the story for this. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll... we'll get you over for sure. some wins to build this confidence. year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil, and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. These are losing battles. I have done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve People death. People in power were psychotic. I beg you! The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. 
the will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You can't do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Lil Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference to your very fit! Isaac. Ah, but she's protecting his evil. So he's working with the girl. The little girl's hiding his surprise. Tell you what I just saw. I need a moment. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. 
things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now, don't you think? Well, you really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? No. You're going it alone. Brave. Independent. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Well, he didn't push a hint on me. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. You were going to tell me right now what happened to my double on that bridge. You saw enough to work out the rest. Making me go through every tiny detail isn't gonna help us any. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. So I missed a weapon. I wonder what the weapon was. And if I need a weapon, if it's just a ghost Can story. we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. All the places to end up. Let's get out of here. What was this? Forcing me past this one. Going in circles here. There's a bench. Oh, oh. James Clark. 
father. Anne Clark, mother. So she died in 72. He died in 72. I'm 16. Oh, she died in 73. Anne Clark, wait. Didn't I die go to the third one? I want the third one. I'm impressed someone cares enough to still drop by this place. Dennis, they all died on the same day. So this would be the house fire. Tragedy to lose someone at that age. Clark family, all but Andrew died. Okay, yeah, we're going in circles. Something else I didn't see? Exit this way. This gate? Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! mistake best to keep out of his way I reckon we should talk about what the woman said before they drowned her the little girl has to be stopped was she warning you or the people who were with her I'm not sure Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? 
a little closer. A little bit more. Supposed to be a get together or a party? Nothing, part. probably. They really I heard something or not? I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Back at the playground. Oh, there's the memorial. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge. No way. To find the others, we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across. You can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay, then. You see this? Why would you be celebrating that? Let's get out of here. <gasps> Daniel! <gasps> get your hands off us! Oh, wait. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! The fountain of all evil is here. What? What evil? You know what's going on here? We sure as hell don't. You scared us half to death. You speak to me of death. This day, I have pulled my wife's body from a watery grave and buried her in the ground with my own hands. And all this because of her. Mary. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep here. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of him? Nope. 
Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <laughs> Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us! Shoo! Ugh! Disgusting! Guys? You there? Killer? Angela. Shit. No. But it didn't let me save her. What did she do to deserve that? It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? Like, that was the worst death ever. It's like, hey, I'm not... You get through the challenge and... Oh, she's dead anyway, sorry. <sighs> this place is a museum of some kind. Is she in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet.
How much you want to bet this was uh, propaganda meant to discredit the church and the, uh, persecute the folks of a particular race? Hey, take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. Look at it another way. Maybe by burning her precious things, it's just gonna piss the kid off. You might be right. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Okay, that's the illustration of what happened. This is the same trial we saw back in the police station. Disturbingly alike. Anything else in here? Disturbing. It creeped the hell out of me. going to the back. We can get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. I choose to believe they let Angela go. She was truly innocent. 
Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. You hear that? Maybe. Heard something, not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You so sure that's where that? we would have found yeah. Angela if Angela Known her for got a long out? time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still... First place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah, and that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat, I never took the uh, bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. We can have a big powwow about who goes in first. But we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. <sighs> oh, what the? What? That's... Oh, Easy shit. now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here. Come on, this way. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. <laughs> What's up? I just... I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. Misogynist men always do, right? This that's the Persian way. You go after the women, then the weaker men. Taylor! What 
is what you know about. Cast aside your false idols and pray to the one almighty Lord for forgiveness. Taylor! You okay? What's going on? What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Sorry I wasn't there for you. I... This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. I found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Okay. Small price to pay to make you feel better. I got it. We know the others went this way. <laughs> Pop it's gone. Come on, this way up. Hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. Wait, she's not dead? Now, at last, someone has a weapon. That might prove useful. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. Oh, uh, that's not my way. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together yourself. The stakes are much greater than life and death. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. See, so like every time he speaks, he manipulates Back you. On the, road. the professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. The woman who looks like me. What did she do to be taken like that? 
Not a great omen for sure, but nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. What I saw back there was unreal. I get that, but- But shit, this whole night has been messed up since we crashed. Thanks for having my back. This shitty night would be a lot tougher without you here. We've looked out for each other. Crush behind, not in front of buddy. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. <laughs> that swing looks like the one in my backyard when I was a kid. <gasps> no way. Get over here! What's up? This is tire swine. This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure this is my tire swing. How come it's out here? I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? Alright. Fuck this place! Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. doing you must help me i beg you please help me before it is too late push now woman only the almighty can forgive your sin that is your only hope of salvation listen to me i have committed no sin the puppet i am condemned for is a child's plaything nothing more i swear I will not it. be deceived i see the evil in you my duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness there is no other way. The guy's a lunatic. You must hang. <laughs> I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this our so city, is he a, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Someone who had political reasons to want to discredit the church? Because no one who follows the church tenets would have done that. That's Book of Enoch stuff. Oh, no, Book of Enoch is apocryphal. That, that means I'm next. That's African, Ethiopian, Jew. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? Oh, oh crap, what the fuck is that? Uh, run. Move! Run!
hear that? Is that Taylor? Taylor! Is that you back there? Get to the church! Run! Hey! One of those fucking things is after Get us! Get inside! Go! Come on, move it! Hey! Run! Get inside! What the hell are you doing? Get in here. Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. <gasps> Shit! Come on, we need a barricade here! Hey! Why the hell is that old fool still out there? Looks like he's following us. Whatever he's up to, we can't trust I him. I know you're inside! What in God's name is he up to? He's gonna lead that thing straight to us. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. What the hell is going on in there? You need to get away from here. Go, before it's too late! Get the hell out of here! I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Maybe he can help us out. This is a really bad idea. What exactly is going on here? Something came after us. That it thing was... was straight out of a nightmare or a horror movie. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you bang your head tonight? You gotta help us. Please, we're all out of options here. I feel like I'm never gonna get out of this town. You and me both, man. I'll go get help. <clears throat> Fucking waste of time. That thing's out there. It's toying with us. Doesn't feel right. Shutting that old guy out there. It was that or risk all of us getting killed. I made the right call. Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. The priest, reverend, whatever, made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. That thing is still out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Hey, kid. You out here?
it pains me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand, and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. Who will be my keeper if you are gone? Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! no! So he was trying to gain ownership of the girl? Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. Why is that stupid sheriff helping him? He was right here. I was holding him. He was right there. Nothing I could do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I know how much it messed me up. Fucking witch trials! What's wrong with these people? They killed that guy for no reason. I'm sorry, this is fucked up. Now we know the pattern. Angela was killed after seeing her double executed. Taylor had a narrow escape from that thing. You see your double get it? And you're next. That's real reassuring. Thanks for sharing. Isn't it better to know what's gonna happen to you? There it is! That's what's been after us! Come on! What do we do now, with that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there, for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. I guess staying makes some kind of sense, right? Y you think that's our best move? We are staying in here. No choice. Okay. Maybe you got a point. Perhaps the thing will get bored and take off. We have nowhere else to go. Sounds like more than one. Fucking great! No way. This has got to be the preacher who's been pop-
What do we do? Thought I'd lost you. We're still in big trouble here. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. I keep telling you, stick together, and we'll be fine. Fine like Angela, right? All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. Sleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid. Mary is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. Fat it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no. That thing is back to finish me off. Get down. Take cover. It's heading straight for us. Quiet. Angela! She's not dead. Easy, Tiger. I'm a little tender. I thought you were gone. How in the hell did you find us? We thought. You know, we're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The 
thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? I heard it. Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. Let me help you down. Professor? Angela, you there? No, no, I'm alone. Daniel? Taylor? <laughs> Guys! you How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in Shithole Central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. My factor for choosing was I stabbed it once. Hopefully it was than slower. To win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far your students have all avoided damnation, eternal suffering. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes.
Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. This may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. She was only hunted after her double was killed. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? It's trying to get kind you to save looking. yourself. I don't think that's the right call. <gasps> no, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. No, don't get involved. I'm torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. As soon as you speak out against her, you're next. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Really? Because that's really the problem. Why does nobody want to deal with the real problem? Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably going to do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I right. didn't see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. It never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. 
We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Dear. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> nope. Hold on to me. Whatever happens, do not let go. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. back there with that thing. Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Only a matter of time before they come after us again. That's a pretty negative outlook you got there. There must be something we can do. Mary's in the middle of all this, that I'm certain of. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. No way in. Like the rest of this fucking town. Sounds like someone sabotaged the town on purpose to benefit.
Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. Now. now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Well. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Ah, the whole time he's just trying to get the kid. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here hall. for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Oh. That's what the Reverend wanted. Is that going to stop the craziness? Giving him what he wants? Usually does that. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. What? 
the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. This is where the father worked. Kiss my ass. Oh, came to work drunk. That's always a bad idea. Especially if they don't like you. It's a good excuse for them. The only ones who get away with that shit are the people who are, uh, in league with the problem. Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners, who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But... the story here. She leave him for some other guy? Find them vents. Okay. <laughs> okay that's you hear that? Man. Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? 
Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Let's go before anything else happens. See Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. You okay, Daniel? Where the fuck has he got to? Daniel, please answer me! Stay cool. We'll get him back. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. I lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. Sun symbol. Try to forget, I just saw this. Oh. 
could have tried to leave town to being condemned. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I got in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you Saints, servants, we have to stop this. He's gonna be dead either way. Come on! Help me! Look! There can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orc rests in your hands. That's the problem with interfering. He uses an excuse. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move!
Ow! This thing is only interested in me! Get out of here! Go! I'll hold it back! You can get away! Escape! I did! You don't have to do this! This is stupid! Get out of there! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. So it's just Andrew and Mary left. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. They're trying to reinforce the uh, selflessness aspect of telling others to leave you behind. It's okay to want help. No! No! What's that? Why are you fixating me on this? Oh, that's why I'm fixating me on this. Creatures are uh, zoning in on them. There's Mary. Successful parenting. Setting Speaking limits. As kids of our own, none of this would be happening. We have to set limits. Be firm. And don't enable. Got it. Finish this game. You're gonna want to see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. Where do we get over? Walk around the other side. Oh, this is the photograph I already saw. Okay, where was the... They don't notice me at all. They don't care. She felt lonely. Interesting is called a Hebrews. Mm. 
Okay, let me out. Your animation locking me on a window. Why are you taking me back to the window oh, to show that they're still coming? Alright, how do I get up? Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tin child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. What must I do to bring Little Hope back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. I shouldn't be all I'd say. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? Oh. What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, 
Your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Do, huh? Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my dears. I don't know if that changed anything. That's more wish fulfillment. You did it. It worked. It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. Sure, yeah. I mean, I should feel great. Uh, but I don't. I, I, I feel nothing. Come on. Let's get out of here. You look pleased. What just happened? We're all done here. We don't have to deal with the last two because we put the soul at peace by giving a hey! alternative. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Well, he's been... Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. great does this feel? Ah, oh, don't get me wrong. I'm so happy we all made it out of here. But? My ass is so getting fired tomorrow. So? What's the deal now, T? I don't know, D. But stick around. Let's see what happens. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell. That, right? Finally getting out of this hell. Oh. I just wish we all could have made it. Here's the bus driver. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much.
Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. Congratulations. Your single charge found a way through the guilt, the horror, and came away whole. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian desert. Maybe somewhere else. But we will meet again. At least one more time. Interesting twist. Not sure I saw it fully. But at least we got them all through it, right? Oh, what is this that I can see with icy hands takes hold on me? I am death, none can excel. I hold the key to heaven or hell. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over for another year? Oh, I have come to get your soul to leave your body and leave it cold. To drop the flesh right off in your frame. The earth and worms both have their claim. Won't you spare me over for another year? Oh, death, oh, death, consider my age. Pray do not take me at this stage. My wealth is all at your command, and you but move your icy hand. Oh, death. 
Won't you spare me over for another year? Can we skip music? Nor age, nor youth, nor silver, nor gold. Nothing satisfies me no. but your soul. The only young, the rich, and the poor alike with me will have to go. Won't you spare me over for another year? Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over for another year? Won't you spare me over for another year? Thank you. Not to forget. Okay. You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe it and I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust and plagued by the demons of the underworld. Basically, they came down off a mountain and entered a desert of, you know, migrant criminals. Yay, salvation. All right. Well, I think that is it for today's episode. So tell me what you think or don't. And I will be back again tomorrow for the next episode. Till next time.